What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Today we're talking about this little uh, 112 scale Ripsaw super tank. Now, uh, I've done an unboxing and a review of this. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. Today I'm gonna to show you a couple of things that hopefully will give you a little bit more performance with this and allow you to do a little bit more in the bad weather. Cause it's not always nice and sunny, is it? Um, and something to note, on the Banggood website, it says this can be submerged up to five metres. <laughs> five metres is quite a bit. I don't think it's going to work in five metres of water. I think what it's meant to say is five centimetres, which is kind of up to probably this level. The electronics are a bit higher than that. So it probably is all right, just a, a small amount of water. But today I'm going to show you my waterproofing solution for the electronics. And I'm also upgrading it to a LiPo. So the fact that I've released this video means the LiPo's actually worked in it because I don't know if it's going to work at the moment, but I'm going to run it on a LiPo, waterproof the electronics, and then take it out and see how we go. So it's really easy to get this off. So underneath you've got eight screws, take them off and then the top just lifts off like that. The uh, lights are plugged into the electronics board, so when you lift it, just unplug it. I've already got the electronics out, but that then exposes all the gearbox there. I'm gonna put some pictures up now inside that gearbox. Um, for those watching this that aren't on my Facebook page, if you check in the description, my Facebook page is in there. I do often put, or I will start putting pictures up of some of these projects, so if you don't see it on my uh, YouTube videos, feel free to drop a comment and I will add photos for people if you want to see a little bit more in depth. Obviously, if I have 200 people asking for different photos, I may not be able to, but I will upload Facebook with some more detailed stuff. Anyway, underneath there, gearbox, and then the electronics sit just in that bit there. Now on the electronics, you've got some plugs. It's got two motors in here and they are different size plugs, so there's no um, worry about getting them mixed up. But I always take a photo before I disconnect it so I know uh, what goes where. And then this here is the power, um, like the switch for underneath. So I've soldered an XT60 connector onto the um, electronics and I'm gonna use a small Nanotech 1300 milliamp hour 2S LiPo um, connected up to there. Hopefully it should work. So soldered that on. I might, I'm might. i gonna have to cut a little bit out of the hole there with my Dremel to get this to fit through. I mean, you can leave it through there and solder it if you want, but I'm gonna cut the inside out to poke it through. And then the electronics board. Now you'll see on there, it's a bit of a shine. What I've done to that electronics board is sprayed it with some of this conformal coating. You can get this off of Amazon or off of eBay. It's uh, like I say, conformal coating. It's used to spray onto electronics and it gives them, um, it gives them a nice watertight seal. I've put about three layers on here. You can actually spray it on and then move it around to spread it around and then sit it level and it will dry nice and even and then do the other side as well. When you're doing it, be careful not to get too much in these plugs because you might cover the actual connection. So when you plug your, uh, the, when you put the plugs in there, it might not have a proper connection and might not work. But I always spray it around the middle and then spread it around a little bit uh, and then it seems to work. So anyway, the electronics hopefully are now fully waterproof. So I'm gonna fit them back into there. And we're gonna put the top back on and then we're gonna go give it a run. Something else I've done, it might help. You can see I've put a little bit of grease on all the struts. They are any friction. A little bit of grease on them, and that might help with the uh, movement of it. But got this little figure here. I think she's from Star Wars. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I'm pretty sure she's from Star Wars. She's three inches in size. And although she's kind of the right scale for the seat, as you'll see, she needs longer arms. But once it's all back together, uh, it actually doesn't look too bad in there. So we'll leave her in. She's my driver for today. So here we are, gonna give it a test with that 2S LiPo. 
We also found a nice spot with some water, so we'll try out that uh, waterproof electronics. As you can see with the LiPo, it's now got a bit more punch. Um, I'm not sure about this, but looks like a bit more speed. Bit more speed, bit more power. We do seem though, do seem to have lost a bit of the control there. I don't know whether that's where I've waterproofed the electronics, but um, I've lost a little bit of that uh, smoothness as you can see. So we've still got proportional in reverse, but I seem to have lost it in forward. It's all or nothing. I tried taking the battery out and resetting it and we'll see if that helps. There we go, so I just took the battery out, reset it, and now we're back to having full control. <laughs> right, let's try again. That's better. So now we've got full control of it. And this is actually a really good terrain for it. Lots of bumps, lumps, ruts and all sorts. One thing I haven't done yet, I've not added any weight to it, but it does need some weight up the front there. It's easy to do as you would have seen at the start of this video, plenty of space for some weight. This is a lovely surface for this thing, no issues at all. That lipo has really woken this up. try it in the water, see how these electronics get on. Oh, it floats quite well, no, it's like a boat. <laughs> it floats very well. So I've lost my proportional throttle again. It's again, it's okay going backwards. Just forwards, don't want to know. So I don't know whether it's something that's happened to the electronics and I've waterproofed it, where I've got a bit of moisture in there when I've been uh, spraying it in the garage, or whether it's just an issue with it from my last run in the wet don't know but I've got no proportional forward throttle now whereas reverse is fine so anyway that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it 
Uh, I'm going to take the electronics out of this. I'm going to uh, put them somewhere warm, see if I can get some of that moisture out, if that's what the issue is. Um, if not, then I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I've got no proportional throttle. I've tried taking the battery out again and resetting it, and that's not worked, so uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This thing is much more capable on 2S, um, but whether the 2S batteries made it do that with throttle, I don't think so. I think it's more of a moisture thing. I'm going to get some good shots for you now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.